What's happening, everyone? This is Nick here at NJ's Bricks, and today we're going to build set 75389, the Dark Falcon from the Rebuild the Galaxy series, sort of alternate universe Millennium Falcon here with a lot of cool alternate universe type minifigures. If you like this content, please like and subscribe to the channel down below. I would really appreciate it. With all that said, let's jump into the build, and you can jump ahead if you'd like to see my thoughts on the completed set at the end.
there it is. That is the completed Dark Falcon set 75389 from LEGO. It is about the same scale as the set that was based on the sequels Falcon that was released, I want to say in 2019, maybe 2020. Same sort of detailing here, but a few changes here and there. Of course, a complete overhaul on the coloration. I really love the red of the cockpit there and the way it makes everything inside it shaded red as you look through it there is super cool to me. I appreciate all the little greebling and detailing, even if those aren't always my favorite portions of a set to build. Of course, they add so much visual interest in the final model. Some movable parts here, that gun turret on top of the Falcon is movable and there's a similar one on the other side. There you can see the open build. There's five different panels on the set and then that one that kind of slides down in between the front middle pieces on the Falcon to open everything up in the interior. A couple of beds and a control chair on this end of things. Moving over to the other side, we have this cool video gaming setup here with a nice little flat screen and a game controller. And then there's this last area here with the trans red prison area there on the right and some other interior details here on the left and top of the screen. Six great minifigures in this set starting from left to right. We have Darth Jar Jar, we have Darth Dev, we have Darth Ray. Then conversely, we have Beach Luke. Jedi Vader, very cool white Vader figure here. And last but not least, we have Bounty Hunter C-3PO. A few really great minifigures. The Ray printing leaves a little bit to be desired compared to the rest of these, but overall a nice collection. This is a pretty fun set. I like how it's just really different from the rest of the series. Of course, the same type of ship, but the vibe and the type of minifigures that come with it is a really fun twist on the traditional Star Wars fare. Please like and subscribe below if you enjoyed this content. See you next video.